Today's scripture is James chapter 1, verses 2, 3, and 4. This is the second video of our book study of the book of James. And verse 2 also begins section 2 of the book of James. And section 2 focuses on how to deal with trials and tribulations. And what James says here in verse number 2 is, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into divers' temptations. Again, that word divers just means various or different temptations or tests or trials that may come into your life. That word temptation in the original Greek can be translated as either temptations, trials, or simply a testing of your faith. And that might sound weird to some people, but verse 3 explains why James says this. He says, Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Patience is one of the characteristics of the fruit of the Spirit talked about in Galatians 5, verses 22 and 23. So learning to develop your patience is very important for a strong believer. And James elaborates on that in verse 4, and he says, But let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Now that's quite a high bar to reach. But that is the purpose, according to this passage, of patience being in our life. To make us perfect and entire, or whole, or complete, to the point that we are wanting nothing. That we are that patient in our life on God, that patient in our life on others, to the point that life no longer becomes about pleasing ourselves, or meeting our demands. But being patient with life, being patient with what God is doing in our life, and being patient with those around us. That's a very important skill to have. And James is telling us here that the only way we're going to develop our patience is to go through various situations where our faith will be tempted or tried or tested. So don't get frustrated with God as he allows you to go through things like this because he's simply trying to instill in you a stronger and more patient, more more complete version of yourself. Thank you for watching. I'm Pastor John, creating community by sharing scripture. God bless. Go tell the world.